Let's start with the introduction. Your introduction is only worth three marks, and therefore it is probably only worth approximately 300 words. Remember, you have a maximum of 2,500, and you do not want to sacrifice marks in other more important areas for the sake of your introduction. Typically speaking, your introduction, or a good place to start your introduction, is by introducing the question. Make sure that uh, you have named the area you are studying. Then you need to include certain other things as well. It's quite important that you have a good locational map. Okay, you can see over here I'm marking it down. The locational map, or for it to be a good locational map, it needs to meet three criteria. Number one, it needs to show the country that you are looking at. Number two, it needs to show the region that you are looking at. And number three, it should also potentially show the exact location of your study. If you meet these three criteria and your map includes things like a compass and a scale, then it will be classified as a good locational map. In addition to that, you're going to also need to have, as it says over here in the IB uh, level descriptor, fieldwork question is well focused with detailed, accurate explanation of the geographical context. Now over here in green, let's focus on the part that says well, well focused. Now the best way to make it well focused is to make sure you have hypotheses. If you do not have hypotheses, it's unlikely to be well focused. Typically speaking, I like focusing on three okay, hypotheses. The next part says, with detailed, accurate explanation of the geographical context. This part will mark down in blue. Okay, I'll put geographical context. What does that mean? Well, that means for you to explain, in other words, explain why this study is important. If you explain why it's important, geographically speaking, you're going to be having a detailed and accurate explanation of its context. Providing your teacher okays it, it's definitely going to be related to the syllabus, so it shouldn't be a problem. Basically, that means that it has to be part of one of the units that you study. Now, as you can see over here in the top part, uh, the checklist that you have, these are things that you should look to complete. Okay, like I said, number one, mention your research question, relate your research question to your geographical theory. Okay, so why um, and how is it linked? Link your question to the IB specification. In the example that I use, we look at oceans and the coastal margins. Why is it important to carry out research on coasts? And uh, looking at also maybe some background information on the region that you're going to study, your hypothesis, and last but not least, your locational maps. Doing all this, keeping it with about 300 words is very, very important. Remember, if you exceed 300 words, think of it this way. They are words that you will not be able to use in other sections. Keep it short, keep it to the point, and make sure you meet all of the criteria. That covers what you need to do in your introduction. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.